What are the strategies for facilitating effective communication within a team, particularly between stakeholders and the developers? Well, that's a very complicated question with a very simple answer. Get them to talk. Right time, right place, right people. They probably need a chat. Um, it, it doesn't really get much more complicated than that. What are my strategies? Get rid of technology. Okay. We use it to hide behind. Oh, but it's much quicker if I, it probably is much quicker. But there's no point in being really quick and ineffective. So one of my favorite scrum masters that I worked with, she had a background as a school teacher and she had two teams in the same office. And I absolutely loved her approach. This was, of course, when we all worked in offices at the same time. And she was copied into all these emails between these two teams. And she got a bit sick of it. So she went over to one of the teams, the main perpetrator of email chains. And just in that school teacher away, told him to hold his hand out. And he did. No thinking involved. And she took his hand, made him stand up, and walked him across the office to the other team and introduced him to members of that team. And he was a bit puzzled because he knew everybody. And when he said, I, I know everybody here, she said, Well, why are you emailing them? Why can't you just walk over and talk to them? Now, stop emailing me. Just have a chat and work it out. That is undoubtedly the most effective way. It doesn't matter if they're stakeholders or other teams or whatever, just talk. Okay. Now, in a remote setting, it gets a bit harder because I'm not going to nip 100 miles one way and walk you by the hand 75 miles somewhere else to introduce you to somebody. No, but I can set it up so that if you're relying on other people, you know them by shockingly getting you to have a chat, probably inviting you to a meeting and saying, John, Tom, Tom, John, you're going to have to work together. You probably need to have a chat. Now, at some point, one of you is going to have information that the other one needs. And if you know each other, at least on Messenger, on Slack, on whatever it is, you can just pop a got time for a quick chat message. Doesn't have to be anything formal, doesn't have to be anything impressive. Actually, a lot of what works the best is simple because there's not a lot of place for having a conversation to go wrong. Now, I do have people go, oh, but you know, developers not very good at talking. Well, they tend to be able to, they can have a chat. Now, are they eloquent? Are they going to be nominated as poet laureates? Probably not but they don't need to be. They need to be able to talk to people within their discipline, within the problem space, if they're talking to business stakeholders. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be fine prose. It doesn't have to be impressive oration. It just needs to be a chat. You've got people with a problem. The business stakeholders have invariably got a need that they want met. And you've got developers, be they from the software world or from elsewhere, they're problem solvers. Well, people with a problem, people who solve problems, put them together. Don't overthink this. Don't put channels in the way. Don't put processes in the way. Simplify it down to that. And in fact, when I'm talking to product owners, this is one of my big pushes. The role of a product owner is to determine what matters, explain why it matters, okay? and determine when the team are going to work on it. But once they've done that, if that customer, that stakeholder is a better, better representative of the opportunity, of the problem space, of whatever you want to call it, then why not connect the developers to that customer, to that person with a need? And product owners done their job. As a scrum master, I'm really here to set it up so that they know that that's their job. If your developers are able to stay on track, keep focused on the space at hand, the issue that they're there to talk about, and you trust the stakeholder to do the same, and they are all capable of doing the same, you don't need to be in the conversation. You've got somebody who's got a need with those who are able to meet it. They can have a better chat than anybody else because nobody other than the developers 
knows the questions that the developers need to ask. If they knew the questions, they would be developers. And please be clear here, I'm not talking about just coders. I'm talking about people who build a product for a living. So when you were there tapping on your keyboard going, what about the business analysts? They're developers. That's a set of skills that we need in a team to understand in detail the problems at hand. Well, you need to understand the problem to solve it. Analysis is part of development. So of course they're in that conversation. Product owner's done their job. This is what matters to me. This is what's going to add the most value to my product, to my customer base, to my organization, whatever is driving. Go and have that chat. Again, online, it gets a bit harder, but it's not difficult. You need to set expectations. Not everything has to be a meeting. Some things can just be a quick chat and use the communication channels to align it and check in and have that quick chat. I just want to check in with you about X, Y, and Z. For me, when it comes to online meetings, in fact, any meeting these days, I want a clear purpose. So help the developers understand that when they're going to communicate with stakeholders, be clear about what it is they need and how long they think it's going to take. Not just randomly throw meetings into people's diaries. Nobody should be doing that in this day and age. Okay, But be clear, can we have... 10 minutes of your time because we've been talking about X and Y and we've got a concern that we've misunderstood Z. Okay. And surprisingly, stakeholders give that time because they want the things solved that they're trying to get solved. So I could give you loads and loads of different facilitation techniques for effective communication, but communication is always going to boil down to people talking. So promote that. Talk to each other. 